Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this update, we are going to check out internal computers chart and see what is going on in the short term. But before we get into all that, at first, we are going to talk about this very, very important tweet. And in case that you missed it, something quite interesting happened with ICP. And I'm going to tell you why developers are calling this thing a world first. So in case you don't know, we recently got an update, which is all about something called clear signing with Ledger hardware wallet. You see, normally when you make a transaction on a blockchain, you are basically signing a digital contract. Now, the problem in this situation, especially I would say when it comes to DeFi space, is that these contracts can look a bit like long, messy strings of code. Now, most people just basically hit approve without really knowing what they are signing. And that is called blind signing. And honestly, it actually defeats the whole purpose of using a hardware wallet because you can still get tricked into signing something quite malicious. Now, what ICP has done is introduce clear signing. And instead of random code, now your ledger will show you human readable details about transaction and it will show you that on a safe screen and that way you can actually see what you are agreeing before you sign and this is going to make a huge huge difference for protecting your tokens especially when you are doing high value stuff like for example swaps lending or maybe even providing liquidity now the way this works under the hood is quite interesting actually you see this whole process is powered by ICP's chain key cryptography, which basically lets blockchain itself handle keys in a decentralized way. Smart contracts on ICP can then tell your ledger exactly how to display transaction details safely, and the result is going to be much, much stronger security. And by the way, I actually forgot to tell you this. This is actually able to scale big time in order to handle thousands of transactions per second. Now, Dominic Williams, the founder of Definity, in case that you are a new viewer, jumped in on this and he basically compared this kind of deep tech innovation with what he calls the no code vibing trend. And in case you don't know what he's talking about, he's basically talking about the platforms where you can drag and drop apps without knowing how to code. For example, Lovable, maybe Base44. His point is that those applications often look good on the surface. However, they actually struggle with real world use and retention. And without endless marketing, he said they will fizzle out. But I'm going to say they might fizzle out. Now, by contrast, features like, for example, clear signing may not look that flashy. I fully understand it. And you might even say, well, okay, it's not actually worth making content on. But that's your opinion. I absolutely respect that. However, I don't really agree with that. You see, in my view, these features are actually the key for attracting more and more adoption. And again, that's absolutely fine. They don't necessarily sound and look flashy, but I do think that they are solving hard problems that actually matter for the future of crypto. And Dominic is basically saying the winners in this space ultimately is going to be the ones building serious infrastructure, not just simply chasing wipes. Now, in my view, this update is actually kind of bullish for ICP, and you might ask why. Well, ultimately, I think it comes down to two very, very important things. You see, the first one, I think we can all agree that it's going to be security because clear signing is going to make ICP one of the safest places to interact with DeFi and other complex applications. And if you are dealing with real money, that kind of protection is going to be huge for you. This is going to build trust for both everyday users and also developers who do not want their projects associated with hacks or maybe scams. Second, I think when it comes to end users POV, this is mainly about having better experiences because most people do not really want to read walls of code before every single transaction. They don't really have the time for it. Now, with clear signing, okay, the process is going to become much, much simpler and much more transparent, which is going to make ICP much more welcoming to new users. Hence why earlier I said this is going to attract more and more adoption as we go forward. And finally, this, I think, does show that ICP is focused on fundamentals instead of just hype. Dominic Williams basically underlined this himself. He said, while others are chasing trends, 
ICP is building solid infrastructure that lasts and that kind of long-term thinking is exactly what attracts serious builders and long-term investors. Now, looking forward, I think this could lead to potentially more DeFi activity on ICP, maybe more users onboarding a bit and entirely new decentralized applications that weren't possible before and if other platforms follow suit, then okay, maybe, maybe ICP is going to be remembered as the one that started all this and is going to maybe even set the standard. But in the crypto space, we usually forget which one did it first. And in case you don't know what am I talking about, go check out Swiss Reserve Gas Fee Model and see how many people were calling this thing a huge, huge revolution. And then go and see that ICP actually implemented this model a couple of years ago. But, you know, a lot of people do not really remember that. However, again, we're not really looking for what people are saying. We care about actual fundamentals and what actually in reality gets built in here. So that's actually one very important reason for why I do like this update quite a lot. So... Overall, I would say we definitely have positive developments in here. Now let's go on the live chart and see what is going on in the short. Okay, here we are. And if you remember the last time that we talked about internet computer, we were right around here. And the idea was that this does actually seem a bit like a slow and choppy move down, meaning what? Yep probably we are having a correction and after it's over we can have another move on the upside but even according to this scenario we said you need to be still a bit more patient and careful because this may end up being a correction structure so what happened as you can see we did get a move up but this does in my view seem a lot like excuse me let's just say this one like a one two three four five wave on the upside which technically technically can be a good sign and i know a lot of you really like me to say look the bottom is in we are now building a huge bullish setup in order to start a rather magnificent bull run you know what i would like me to say that as well but i don't really see the signs yet and in today's update we are going to talk about what we need to see in icp in order for us to be able to say you know what this is our final low and indeed this is the beginning of a huge pull so i'm ready let's dive in and see what is going on and now well number one i do not really want to go on 15 minute time frame because if i go that route i'm not really able to find the sub waves for this one two three four five wave in form of an expanding leading diagram but we want to be bullish so you know let's just be a bit generous and say we are able to find the sub waves to work now if this is a five wave up followed by that we are having a correction down probably yes i'm gonna say like a w x y in form of a double zigzag and this seems to be another five wave on the upside now technically we may end up having in icp an a b c zigzag which sub waves for us are going to be like this and you probably know the sub waves five wave up into a correction for wave b let's say an a b c doesn't really matter and then another one two three four five into c and if i just go on the live chart well okay it seems like that we do have two sets of five waves on the upside in order for this thing to be on a higher degree an a b c zigzag now if this scenario is happening then okay either from the current point or maybe let's say just a bit higher we need to see a very strong move down a one two three four five wave something like this in order to take this low for the first target about 4.1 dollars and at that point well it is going to be pretty much confirmed that this is a correction the final low unfortunately is not in yet and on a higher degree we may have a wave one correction for two another move down into wave three abc for four and this is our last leg down in internet computer into our wave 5 which Annette, by the way let me be very clear even if we're gonna go down we're not really going to go down a whole lot no i do expect for us to take the lowest low about let's say four dollar region but i actually think we're just going to go like two three percent lower in order to reach to about this unbelievably important support area from weekly time frame just around 3.9 bucks and what's gonna happen next you know what i expect a massive massive bounce back which is going to happen let's say even 
in a span of days or maybe a week or two and that is actually probably going to cover like two or even three months worth of consolidation pattern bounce back usually happens like that when we are going to start a massive bull run now what if this abc is not happening and we are bullish well you see if you want to say that we're gonna have our final lower of this area then okay off of the lowest low you have to be able to find a one two three four five eight up this specific structure is called an impulse rules for us are we should not have overlapping of the waves excuse me let's just say this object between our wave two and four and in any kind of five wave our wave three should not be the smallest wave and in terms of the sub waves i think you know it five up into wave one three and five and when it comes to corrections we can have so many different counts let's say okay abc into four and like a wx y structure into wave two now let's go on the live chart and see what is going on and this is actually a very important point pay attention in icp if i want to say that the bottom is in i need to see a couple of things number one i need to see let's say somewhere between three to five days of consolidation pattern in here and then another move on the upside because that is going to make me say you know what yeah okay maybe this is a one two three four five indicating the bottom set sign number two i actually want to see another move on the upside in order to get to somewhere around these areas why is that so important because you see according to the bearish count in icp we can say well we just talked about it earlier right this can be like a one two three four five however if this move is going to continue and we're going to have overlapping of the waves between our wave four and two well okay this structure i think we can all agree that is going to look a bit odd and maybe 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 it is going to roll out this one two three four five and well that's going to open the doors to some bullish possibilities and important sign number three after having a one two three four five hopefully i want to see actually a bit of a move down however the move itself is not really that important it's not even tradable what really matters is the shape of that move if we end up getting a consolidation pattern a very very slow and choppy move down and between our pullbacks up you're able to find overlapping of the waves well at that point you can say look this is a correction down this is a five wave up and on a higher degree this is one this is two and what's next yep big move up into wave three four five and indeed the bottom is in and it's very important to note that in terms of Elios waves wave three is known to be quite a strong and sharp move on the upside okay that's why i'm telling you if we get consolidation another move up followed by a pullback count on the next move to be quite significant and my final point this isn't actually related to what is going on right now in like very very short time. but if overall we end up getting back above this unbelievably important region which the higher amount of it is around 5.8 dollars okay that's probably going to be our ultimate sign suggesting the bottom is in and we are looking bullish but again i'm not really going to wait for that i'm just going to be a bit patient and watch the current price action very very closely if i see something like this great sign at that point i'm gonna be bullish as long as i'm not seeing that though i'm gonna say look in icp we need to be still a bit more patient and careful and consider this thing as a correction structure and in case that we see a rather strong move down then okay expect icp to go to somewhere around 3.9 dollar and then have a very strong pass and I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in internet computers chart. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And until the next update, I hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones. Goodbye.